it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and I'm back with the second video in our Nico Raglan t-shirt video sew along. If you missed the first video, I'll include links to all the videos in the entire series right in the description box below for you. Now let's jump right into it so we can start cutting out our fabrics. Now I'm working with about a nine to nine and a half ounce cotton spandex here. I know that it has more than the 40% stretch that's needed for this pattern. If you don't know how to determine the amount of stretch in the fabric that you're getting, you can reference one of my other videos. I've done several videos on uh, different sew alongs that I've done featuring knit fabrics to show you exactly how you would measure to see if the fabric has the amount of stretch needed. So I'm gonna fold this on itself because I'm getting ready to cut out my front and back pattern pieces and they need to be cut on the fold. So here's the back of my pattern, or the back of the shirt, and then this is the bottom of the back. So I'm going to move this all the way down here, place that on the fold, and then I'm going to take a ruler and measure two inches in between these two pieces here. Let me scoot this down a little bit more, I don't like to waste fabric. Now, you may need more yardage than the pattern said that you needed if you're going to be adding length to it, remember. So if you're doing something like I'm doing here where I'm adding two inches to the length, make sure that you have more fabric than what you actually need or what's called for in the pattern so that you don't run short when you get to cutting your pieces out. So two inches. Two inches. So all I'm doing is measuring that the two cut edges of the pattern pieces are exactly two inches apart, and they are, so I'll place my pattern weights. These are just large washers that you can get at any hardware store. All right, and now I'm just gonna cut around it to get my pieces and make sure that you transfer over the notches. This big one here is a double notch, so I'll just make two slits into the fabric at about an eighth of an inch long. Not too much because remember the seam allowance in this project is only a quarter of an inch. Make sure all my fabric layers are smooth. Now if you feel like I'm flying through with this sew along, make sure that you watch my other free video sew alongs on garments. I've covered a lot of the basics in those. You can watch one of my Westchester Dolman top. That's an eight part video series with tons of information. It's also based on stretch knits. You can also watch the Butterick pattern that I did for a woven top where I shared tons of measuring and sewing construction tips with you there. So this one, we're kind of going a little bit quicker through it just to show you how we construct the garment. I'm not going into depth on a lot of things. So this is the back. Let me repeat that to cut out the front of my shirt. Then we'll move on to the sleeves and the neckband. All right, and that is the front with the added two inches. Now let's get our second contrasting fabric, and then let's cut out the neckband, making sure it's on the fold, and two of our sleeves. Now I love doing the contrast sleeves and neckband because you can see that these pieces can be cut out of a pretty small chunk. This is about five eighths of a yard, and I still have leftover for other little kind of scrappier base projects. So I'm gonna open this up fold it onto itself. I'm going to cut out the sleeves first, then I'll show you how I cut out the neck binding to make sure that I cut it out on the fold and so that the length of the neck binding is running along the greatest degree of stretch of the fabric. So my straight of grain needs to be going this way. Straight of grain is parallel to the selvages. So 
those are my sleeves. Now let's cut out the neckband. And you have plenty here to cut it from because it's not that long of a piece, but it does need to be cut on the fold. I'm going to cut from this small chunk here, just fold it up onto itself and see if it's long enough. And it is. So I'll scoot it all the way over here. So you see, you'll have enough left if you wanted to make multiple shirts featuring different fabrics and then still maybe keeping this kind of olive colored for the neckband, you'd be able to cut multiples out them. So I like to kind of mix and match the pattern pieces to make the most out of my fabric scraps. And just like that, I have all four pattern pieces I need. Here's the back of the t-shirt. This is the front of the t-shirt. I have one and two short sleeves. And when I open this up, the full length of my neck binding. Now, let's start sewing this baby up. All right, to start constructing this, go ahead and take the front of the t-shirt and place it in front of you with pretty side of the fabric facing up. Sometimes it can be tricky to tell, just have a look close up and see which one looks like the pretty side, put that one facing up. Now we're gonna take one of our sleeves and also find the pretty side of the sleeve, which for me is this side. You're gonna layer these one on top of the other, pretty sides touching. So you're gonna match up notches also. So I see here, I have two slits here. This one only has one. That tells me these two don't go here, okay? Instead, instead of putting this sleeve on that side of the shirt, if I look on the other side, my notch is there, and now I know that a single notch has to match the other single notch. So this is going to match up on this side. Still pretty sides touching. Match your notches, and you're also matching the fabric at the bottom of the sleeve and up where the neckline would be. Grab your ballpoint pins. I love using ballpoint pins when I'm using cotton spandex or stretch knits like this, light to medium weight ones. And if you need to get your hands on some ballpoint pins, we carry them in the online shop. You can use the link I've included for you below. You can get the cotton spandex fabric, the pattern there, as well as these ballpoint pins. And that matches beautifully there. All right, so now the ballpoint pins are helpful because instead of piercing through the fabric fibers, they have a blunter tip ballpoint, okay? And they nestle in between the fibers so you don't mess up your knit fabric. So that sleeve is gonna go there. I'm gonna scoot this out of the way. And you know that the other sleeve then needs to go on this side, pretty side facing down and matching single notches. Here is a single notch and here is a single notch. So these two will match up beautifully, pretty sides touching. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this one and then we'll head over to the sewing machine to stitch these up with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now for sewing stretch knit and most of my garments, I use 100% polyester thread because especially on stretchy fabrics, it will definitely hold up better to the stretching of the garment as you're putting it over your head, as you're slipping your sleeves through it. It just gets a little bit more wear and tear. And the polyester being a synthetic fiber is stronger than something like a cotton or other natural fiber, okay? So this goes here. Now, if you read the instructions on the pattern, it says if you don't have a serger to follow their techniques for finishing the raw edges of the garment. I'm not gonna do anything like that here because it's just for instruction purposes and the stretch fabric doesn't fray or unravel or anything on you. So if you have a serger, anywhere that I'm pinning, you would just use the serger to stitch it right up and finish the edges because the serger does both of those things at once. But if you just have a regular sewing machine, you can do a zigzag stitch, a wide one, right on the edge, and then go in and stitch this. This kind of just doubles the amount of time that it takes to put it together. My husband does not seem to mind having raw edges in his seams because they don't unravel and he doesn't really feel it. We're still going to be using a really narrow quarter of an inch seam allowance, so I'm okay just leaving it as it is. So let's head over to the sewing machine, and we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch away, down this way and this way. Now that's it for video number two in our Nico Raglan t-shirt sew along. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites and meet me back here for video number three where we're gonna jump right into sewing and finishing up this garment.